are a nation of builders. Today, we build for defense. From the Atlantic to the Pacific, from Canada to the Gulf, in our territories and possessions, these homes are springing up for America's industrial soldiers. Homes for the families of the enlisted personnel. Homes for workers in factories, dormitories for single men. Healthful living for those who are producing the planes, the tanks, the ships, the guns for America's defense. No defense worker in America is expected to endure the evils of substandard living conditions. To carry out this policy, Congress created the Defense Housing Program. Slums have taken their toll in health, welfare, and productivity. Problems which were greatly aggravated by the presence of thousands of new workers arriving to man the machines of defense production. Industrial soldiers on the march. Workers drawn to new centers of industrial activity by the demands of national defense. Newport News. Welders, riveters, riggers, iron workers strike the first blow in the Battle of the Atlantic. Hartford. Machine guns for democracy's battlefronts in Russia, China, the Middle East, Africa, England, or wherever the aggressor strikes. Detroit, home of America's auto industry, now the defense home of the mechanized units of our modern army. Rock Island, the arsenal. Here we forge the cannon for our coast and field artillery. Rolla Waynesville, Fort Leonard Wood, training center for National Guardsmen and selectees. Supplies for our new citizen army. Corpus Christi, new airfields, new industries to accommodate the nation's expanding air force. San Diego, bombers, patrol boats, trainers, west coast base of destroyers. Federal Works Agency. Federal Home Loan, Federal Housing Administration. Farm Security Administration. United States Maritime Commission. Navy Department. United States Housing Authority. Each housing agency is doing a special job in its own field under the coordinated program. Homes on Wheels, flying squadrons to plug the gap of immediate housing needs. A new adventure for sturdy families who have answered the call of production. Here they live until their new homes are completed. From one end of the country to the other, there will be more than 6,000 mobile houses in well-ordered projects. Defense means speed, new methods to meet new emergencies, belt line production for planes, tanks, and homes. America pioneers again. Portable houses, prefabricated houses, put together in jig time. The amountable to prevent creation of ghost towns, specters of the past. These homes can be used after the emergency for needy rural families. Careful planning of sites. Minute calculation on the contours of land. This scene has been enacted in hundreds of communities during 1941. The start of a permanent housing project. The shovel bites into the earth, which will cover the network of utility and sewer lines that make for modern living. More than a roof and four walls go into the creation of a modern community. Here is a giant sewage disposal plant. Streets, schools, and business centers will follow. Linemen install the wires that bring to this community, as to thousands of others, communication and light, essentials to American daily life. Speed and more speed. This giant cement mixer delivers it is serving the need that 3,000 homes in a single project have in common. 
Foundations for Defense Homes are Foundations for Defense. 47 separate operations in the construction of these homes, steps carefully planned and integrated to produce more than 20 completions a day. More than 24 million board feet of lumber, equivalent to 10,000 trees covering a forest of nine square miles. More than 45 miles of sewer pipe, all on this one site alone, which will have 3,000 homes, three schools, churches, and a business center. These defense homes are built of good materials by steady, competent workmen. The government is determined that no defense activity shall be retarded because of lack of housing. A weatherproof roof is just as essential to good housing as strong foundations and a good framework. Specifications on housing projects call for first-class materials. In Defense Town, USA, housing must be both enduring and attractive. Here, skilled workmen apply stucco to a unit in a warm climate project. Construction materials and methods are adapted to the needs of the community and the requirements of the climate and location. New projects are going up in all sections of the United States. To meet emergency housing needs, there are as many homes being built with public funds under the Coordinated Defense Housing Program as there are in the cities of Canton, Ohio, Pasadena, California, Joliet, Illinois, Charlotte, North Carolina, Little Rock, Arkansas, Mobile, Alabama, Reno, Nevada, and Topeka, Kansas combined. When the homes are finished in Defense Town, life continues its modest way. Workers in the factories, the shipyards, and the arsenals discharge their duties. At home, their families have their jobs too, the American way of life. A healthy, happy family in our free democracy is one of a man's strongest incentives to do his best in the battle of production. ration cards for these healthy youngsters. Milk and vitamins are plenty along with fresh air and sunshine. Double defense. Defense for our liberties from the aggressor without and defense for our national well-being from within. Long after this emergency, these sturdily constructed dwellings will provide healthful, low-cost living for thousands of the nation's families. More than half a billion dollars for defense housing. New homes built with public money in more than 300 communities. New homes built under the privately financed defense housing program in over 200 additional communities. With public funds, more than 42,000 are now occupied of the more than 120,000 already underway. Yes, double defense. Homes now for those who feed the industrial firing line. Homes later for the preservation of our social well-being.